Hey guys, my name is Nazarin and I want to talk a little bit today about moments of change. And for me, my big moment of change, I guess, came about six months ago when I decided that I was going to go from becoming a seventh grade English and history middle school teacher to becoming a graphic designer. So before that, I had never considered a career in any kind of creative profession. Graphic design was not something that was even in like the orbit of possibilities for me but I stumbled into it and that's kind of a separate story in and of itself but I wanted to talk about kind of the transition that I made from education and to going to where I am today in this creative field so I had studied education in college for four years and I'd worked in a school for two years before making this decision so I spent about six years really being dedicated and committed to the field I really did love the work and so you know, it, it was really hard when I realized earlier in 2019 that it wasn't the right space for me for a couple different reasons. So one reason was that I felt a little bit stifled in the classroom. I think the reason I went into education and the reason I went into teaching was because fundamentally I love teaching and learning and growing with other people. but. The institution of our education system and the rigidity of classrooms for me just wasn't allowing the type of connection and the type of growth I really sought with other people. That and on a more personal note, just the loss of my mom um, during that time honestly just made me not want to give as much. I didn't have as much to give and I wanted to be more insular and so it, that's, you know, having that feeling of wanting to just be insular and not give is really hard when you're a teacher because as all you teachers know, you're constantly just giving and giving and giving throughout your day. So there are multiple things that were going on in my life at the time that made it so that this change was kind of inevitable. Anyway, so it was really, really hard for me to make that decision and just to say it out loud, to tell my family, to tell friends, to tell people in my network, my professors, that I didn't want to pursue education anymore. But that's led to a really, really different life that I'm living today, and I'm really glad that I ended up making that change. So I went from being a teacher in New York City to now being a graphic designer and living in Japan while I pursue a personal design project. And if you're interested in that, you can you know leave a comment below, ask me about it. I'm happy to tell you that story as well. Um, so anyways, all that is to say, or all that is to pose the question, how do we harness this moment of change, right? How do we take advantage of that moment and not let it just slide by us and really act on it so that we can change our life to be aligned to who we are becoming, which I think is so huge, right? who you are becoming, not who you are today or who you were last year, but who you are actively becoming based on new experiences that you're having or, you know, maybe new people that you're meeting, right? We're constantly changing and so it makes sense for our life and our work and our relationships, etc., to change along with that. Uh, first and foremost, just listen to yourself. So when you are in that moment of feeling like this is not the right place for me, just continue to sit in those feelings and listen to yourself. So for me, that started happening in January 2019. I came back from winter break and I had just, I did not want to wake up in the morning to go to work. I was not excited the way I used to be about my work. And so I knew that something was off. And I didn't act on it right away because I wanted to really understand where those feelings were coming from. At the same time, I didn't want to be afraid of these feelings and ignore them. So listen to them. Don't act on them. Just listen to them. Second, if those feelings don't go away, and for me they didn't, if they don't go away, then try to understand where that unhappiness is, is coming from. Do you feel like there's no opportunity for growth? Do you feel like your values are not aligned to the life you're living? Did something major happen in your life that made you just change kind of fundamentally who you are? So understand why you're not currently happy where you're at and use that as a guide to figure out what you should be doing next. And lastly, just start opening your senses, your eyes, your ears. When you are going through life, think about everything that you see, everything you do as an experience to really be 
I don't know, felt, I guess. Um, and I think for me, this really resonates because it's really the way I stumbled into graphic design. Uh, I, like I said earlier, I never, I was not considering graphic design when I realized that I didn't want to be a teacher anymore. I, in fact, I was looking for other type of like kind of culture building, consulting type of jobs. And the way I actually wound up in graphic design is that I was having a, a chat with a friend at his office. I thought that he could provide some insight on this new direction I was trying to move in. And as I was leaving, he gave me a couple booklets, just like small little paper booklets, nothing too fancy, that were designed by some of the designers in the consulting firm. And these booklets were about how to harness these moments of change and how to use them for you know your benefit. And I took these little booklets home. I was sitting on the train going back uptown and I really, I was, and for some reason I was really drawn to them. They really inspired me, they really excited me, and I kind of felt like, I, I wanna create something like this. Like I wanna, I wanna make something that I can hold in my hands, which I've never done. The point is that I realized that I wanted to start kind of you know, exploring graphic design because of these books, these little booklets that my friend had handed me. So if I wasn't really open to the idea of just exploring the things that were interesting to me or the things that kind of piqued my curiosity, I, I really may have not wound up going down this route. So all that is to say, open up your senses as you are going through you know, your day-to-day -day life. And if something intrigues you, if something interests you or excites you, just pursue it. See where it goes, do more things like that and see where that might take you. So yeah, that's about it. Um, if you feel like you're going through a moment of change, I'd love to talk about it with you. I'm happy to share more of my own story if that's something you're interested in hearing as well. I don't really know where I'm going with these videos, to be honest, and I don't know if that's a, like, a bad thing. Um, like I said, going along with the theme of moments of change, I never before was someone who kind of produced content like this. I definitely was not someone who ever wanted to be making videos, but you know, here I am living across the world and doing design work and making videos and yeah, my life looked really, really different, I don't know, six months ago. So yeah, capture that moment of change. Don't let it slide past you, especially if that's something that you need for yourself. All right, thanks so much for listening. If you like this video, you can, li you can like it, I think. Give it a thumbs up, comment, uh, subscribe to this channel, and help me figure out what this series or channel should look like. <laughs> thanks so much.